Here we go, the letter X. I've been waiting for this letter the entire alphabet. <laughs> one, of the, one of the letters that has so many meanings attached to it. X marks the spot. We begin the same way that we begin most of the capital letters in the chancery alphabet with that initial curve. Then the next stroke is a straight down, holding my pencil or my pen at the traditional angle. Little, little hook at the end. Now, this next stroke is kind of interesting because here's my diagram holding the pen at the one, two, three, four, five position. If we hold the, the pen at the traditional three and a half, 30 degree angle, this stroke is probably going to be a little bit thick. Let me try it. There we go, that's not bad. And then we have some decisions to make at the top and the bottom of this stroke. It's possible that you can do this all in one, all in one stroke by pushing the pen uphill, then doing the stroke, and then pushing the pen at the bottom. If you've watched some of the other videos, you know I've talked about this. It depends on the symbiotic relationship between the pen that you happen to be using, not the pencil, the pen, and the paper. If you can get away with pushing, go for it. But most of the time, I think you're going to want to do that stroke and then come back and pull what I call the flag at the top. You're going to want to pull the pen this way. Now, down here, I like to make this a slight curve so that it's not symmetrical with this end. If we put a flag at both ends, it'll be too symmetrical. So that's the way I like to do it, an X with a little, little curve there. Now, let's do the lowercase x. Very simple. Starts with a hook. Pull down to the baseline and the little foot hook there. By the way, again, do you notice here and here, I, I pull my pen up so it's just writing on the bottom corner. As I say, I make, it, make your pen pop a little wheelie there so that it goes up on its hind legs. And I'm mixing enough metaphors for you. <laughs> and uh, get that, that stroke needs to be thin. And so it helps if you pick up your pen. Then the next stroke goes this way, of course. A little flag at the top. I'm drawing separately. And a little foot, curved foot at the bottom. Well, in other words, this is one of those letters where this, the lowercase is almost exactly a replica of the capital. Now, one more thing I want to say about the X. Because this is an italic hand, that is, the letters are supposed to be, for, from where you're watching, they're supposed to be slanted to the right just a little bit, correct? So the challenge is, in an X, like in all the slant letters, there are no lines that go parallel to the italic guidelines. So you have to create an X that looks as though it's leaning. And that just comes with practice. Let me do this letter again, because it definitely doesn't quite lean enough. So I'm going to make the first stroke a little bit steeper. That is, it's a little bit more vertical. And make this one a little bit more horizontal. In other words, I lean it this way a little bit in hopes that my final X will have a slant. I, I achieved it and actually overdid it a little bit. But I'm not going to fix it. Now I'll fix it in the felt tip marker. Got it? But that's, that's the trick. You want the X, even though neither lines are going parallel to the italicized angle, the, the sum total of those two lines need to look as though the X is leaning. Let's go then to the marker. Starting at the top, coming down to about that 7.30, 8 o'clock point on a dial face. Straight down and a little hook. Popping a wheelie down there. This stroke straight down to the baseline, and then come back and add a flag up here and a little hook there. Now let's check. Yeah, I think that, that the X looks like it's leaning ever so slightly to the right, which is what we want. Now let me do the lowercase X here. Simple hook, simple stroke, little foot, pop a wheelie down there, and then this stroke with a curved foot at the bottom down here and a straight flag at the top. 
there we go and that one to me looks like it's just about perfectly parallel to the italicized angle see there's the italics angle that one fits good enough now let's do the dip pen the pen that you know and love <laughs> and hate sometimes but most of the time you get over it you love it it does all kinds of things it makes your fingers black it drips on your paper it fails to write sometimes all those things are normal I want you to know that and yet it, in spite of all that, it's the pen, it's the, the tool that makes the most beautiful marks. That's why we use it. Plus, you can dip your pen in different colors of ink and so forth and get a lot more creative than, than, than you can with a felt tip marker or a fountain pen. Little curved foot down here and a straight flag up here and there we go capital X then the lowercase I'm going to use these since the guidelines are right here and I'm going to use the guidelines a hook straight down stroke and a hook my pen comes up on that corner you see that see that angle I, I pull my pull my thumb down a little bit so that the pen just draws on that bottom corner. Do you see that? A little bit of a turn in my hand. And then the other stroke, straight down, a curved foot. Draw that twice, and a flag at the top. There. That's a pretty good, pretty good X. And again, I think it follows the inclination of the italicized angle. Very good. I think you've got X down. Just sit there and practice it for the next 10 minutes and you'll be a pro. <laughs> We're almost done with the alphabet. If you're with me going all the way through, just two more letters to go. Can't wait to get done.